In today's video, you'll learn the ins and outs of how to add product filters to the sidebar of your WooCommerce store. If we haven't met before, I'm Sam from Barn2, and on this channel, we've made hundreds of videos to help thousands of WordPress users like yourself to level up their website and increase sales on WooCommerce. So here's a sneak peek at what we'll be doing today. First, we'll see what the default sidebar filters can do, and I'll show you how to set them up. Then I'll show you a more professional option along with a clear setup guide. And you'll also learn some awesome tips along the way to increase your store's conversion rate. So let's get started. So like I mentioned, you can use some default filters on WooCommerce and you can add them as widgets in the sidebar. So there's a price slider here, there's a filter by attribute, in this case it's color option. And then there are some other options like filter by rating or stock status. And then you can also add something here to clear the active filters. Now if you want to add these to your site, assuming you're using some kind of classic theme, then these are the steps you can follow. From your dashboard, navigate to appearance and go to widgets. And then under the sidebar widget option here, Scroll down until you find this plus button and you can add a new block. Then you can search for filters and you can add a new filter. So in this case, I'll just add a filter for size. And you can see all of the, my product sizes have turned up. Then click on update and refresh the page to see your new filter that's been added to the sidebar. Now, although these default filters are a great starting point, there are some significant issues with them and they are definitely not ideal for stores with large catalogs of products. For instance, the filtering elements are obviously way too basic as they're only covering several different criteria like the price and rating, as well as some basic attributes. But they also suffer from poor user experience. There's no Ajax enabled for the filters, so every time you have to apply a filter, the entire page will reload. And finally, there's just not really any filter styles. You're just stuck with whatever it comes up with by default in your theme. Nowadays, online shoppers expect a smooth and fast shopping experience at the minimum. So that's why the majority of store owners who are running WooCommerce so that's why the majority of store owners prefer to use a filter plugin for their sidebar widget. Now here at Barn2, we worked hard on a filtering plugin that would really upgrade the user experience for your customers. This ultimately led to the development of our WooCommerce product filters plugin. This professional plugin enables you to set up filters for pretty much any criteria, including product data like attributes, such as product models, colors, sizes, brands, etc., and product categories, including tags, custom fields, and much more. You can use it to add and display the product filters on your site's front end in a variety of ways, including sidebars on the left or right of the page, a slide out panel, which is activated by clicking a button. They can also be placed above the list of products, and the product filters app is also mobile optimized. To be more specific, rather than a full sidebar, the plugin displays a view filters button above the list of products on smaller screen sizes. It's actually quite similar to the layout you might have seen on Etsy. So now I want to show you how to set up product filters on your own site. Click the first link in the description below to try a demo of this plugin for a short period of time or purchase the plugin, which is backed by our 30 day money back guarantee. Then download the zip file from your purchase confirmation. This is also where you'll find your license key. Next, log into your WordPress site and navigate to plugins, add new plugin. Then click on upload plugin and add the zip file that you downloaded in this box here. Click on open and then finally click install. From there, the setup wizard should launch automatically, but if you don't see it right away, you can also launch it from the settings page. On the first screen, add your license key and then click on activate. Then click next and you can choose which filters to display in the horizontal layout above your shop or category pages. 
You can also choose if filters will always be displayed or if they should be revealed with a button. Then you can choose the same options on mobile. You can edit the show filters button text and then click on next. Next, you can choose the Ajax behavior for the filters and choose to display a product count. Finish the setup wizard and click on manage filters to go to the next step. Now let's create a new filter group, which we can add to our shop pages in the upcoming steps. Now you can either open a default or existing filter group, or you can create a new one by clicking on this add new button. On the edit filter group page, you can click on the add new filter button here. You can give the filter a name, choose what you want to filter by, and then choose a filter style. You can also display specific choices or display all choices within a given attribute. You can then save your changes to update the filter widget. If you want to reorder the filters, you can do so by dragging and dropping them. And you can also delete a filter by clicking on the delete button. Then simply repeat these steps to add as many different filter types as you would like. Finally, we can of course add our filters to any of our shop pages. And it's actually very easy to display filters anywhere you like. To add your new filters to the sidebar of your site, click on add a block to the sidebar widget and search for filters and click on product filters. Then choose the filter group that you created. In this case, I created the one called filter widget and let's just call it filters. Click on update and you can visit your store now to see all of your brand new filters displayed. So I can click on the different filter options. And right now the filter logic is including all the different filter types at once. You can see it's using Ajax to load the page. And over here, I have a different filter option, which is for a search bar. This horizontal layout is also customizable on the settings page of the plugin. You can choose which filter group to display here, and you can adjust the settings as needed. Finally, you always have an option to add a filter using this shortcode to any other place on your site. Now, of course, don't forget to test out your filters by viewing them on your site as if you're a customer. You may want to set up a testing ground for this using InstaWP or a similar service. Of course, if you get stuck at any point, you can always contact our amazing support team. There's a link for them in the description below. Just remember that product filters can only really work properly when your products are already correctly categorized and have attributes assigned to them. If you haven't yet set up product variations, then you can check out this video next, which explains everything in detail. And to try a demo of the filters plugin for yourself, you can click on this link here. And of course, thanks for watching.